Okay, hey everybody, this is Grace, and uh, I started a video, and I said that whenever I got somewhere I could actually read stuff out, that I would, but I went, but where I got was where I was going, which is a store. <laughs> I went in, but I wanted to read it, I was talking about people who, you know, it's just so irritating to me, it has, has happened many, many years, long before I ever existed, and any of us ever existed. Um, yeah, people who claim to be Christian, and then they could do some of the most um, things that are so bad, they're so against Christianity as it is. Okay, and uh, I do usually do vid I had to stop that clip there because there were some kids with their mom walking by, and I'll put other people's kids in my videos if I can all help not to <laughs> see it, in other words. But anyway, I was talking about, you know, that. The people who claim to be Christian, I usually do videos on people who are like toxic people, narcissistic, histrionic, um, borderline have behaviors of these, and I don't diagnose. And uh, antisocial, you know, I do videos. The behaviors, as I read them and as I see them, my, my degrees are in psychology and sociology. I taught at uni college and university. And this is, these are still my opinions from my education, which I was a career student. So. Okay, I thought about moving, but there's a woman behind me texting, and she's parked right behind me. Seriously, that going, you know, like, through the, the other direction. And she's just sitting there texting on her phone. God, really? Okay, she's still sitting there anyway. So, and I said I was going to read this. It's 2 Timothy 3. I said I was going to read this. And what does this sound like to you? I've, I've mentioned it many, many, not many, many, but years now. I've mentioned, you know, check this out. Okay, I have to, okay, I have to say that that was something I've never seen somebody, you know, like, like, just stop there where anybody who was parked there on the end there would not have been able to get out. She just parked right there. And so finally, I, I started back up. She didn't move, so I tooted my horn a little bit. You know? And she, she, you could, I could see her jump and move. But uh, then there was somebody else coming from the other direction, the perpendicular, and uh, they were just sitting there. And the, there was somebody behind her, like, you know, on down the lane, the lane, I guess you call it. And, uh, yeah, the lane, hello. And she was sitting there like, what's going on here, too? You know, how some people, you know, they just lose sight on what's going on. That you're holding up traffic here. You're holding up people who want to back up. Oh, that was weird. Okay, now I'm going to read this before anything else happens. And it's 2 Timothy 3. In the Bible, the, uh, it says the King James, King James Version. Okay, it says, This know also, that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. What does that sound like? I mean, come on, really? This was the Bible. Now, how long ago it was written? Yeah, I think. Keep that in your mind. And what's going on today? Okay. I'm not, no, this is not any kind of conspiracy theory, by the way. No, I'm not talking about that. You know how some people say, the end of time. Well, every generation, pretty much, from what I've read, heard, that pretty much every generation thinks that. <laughs> it was the end of time. No, this is no conspiracy theory to that. It is pointing out how similar... What was said in the Bible, 2 Timothy, 3, 2 Timothy 3, what was said in the Bible that's going on today as far as these um, these toxic kind of people that I talk about. Okay, where was I? So much would happen right in front of me. It's like watching a movie, practically. Anyway, it said, For men shall be lovers of their own selves, co covetous, covetous, um, you know, Boasters, proud, blasphemers. I always call it, you know, I'm Texan. You would think I wouldn't make it uh, <laughs> this way, but I call it blasphemers, you know, to chill it out a little bit. Not to, what was the term I came up with earlier today that I was going to use for it? To relax it was blasphemers. And I say blasphemers, so I'm wrong. Anyway, disobedient to parents. I would think that they're talking about children. Okay. And, uh, but I could be wrong in any of this. And uh, unthankful. 
and unholy. Now, some of the words that are in the Bible, you, we've changed over all these times. So, you know, look them up yourself. And, uh, yeah. Okay. With na without natural affection. This, to me, you know, I had to think about this. And, I, and I've thought about two different ways over time over, I don't know, especially um, all those years now. But think about people who lack... Um, I mean, this could be one of, part of, who lack um, empathy. Who lacks empathy? Read, 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 read about in the DSM, not just online. Anybody can say anything. But read the DSM and on um, narcissistic personality disorder, the behaviors. Okay, or the, just read on. <laughs> Today I'm not, I'm not finding my words right today, but yeah, I just I had a health issue, so yeah, uh, and it's going to take me a little while to get over it, but it's a physical, it's diabetes, and I don't want to go too much detail about that again, but um, anyway, look, look at the DSM, look up, Mar look up the personality disorders, cluster B, and uh, you know, you don't die. I don't diagnose. I don't. You know, nobody should diagnose anybody except for their own uh, whatever healthcare professional type. Uh, it was a psychiatrist, a uh, therapist, whatever it is, wherever you live, that is legal. <laughs> that is actually from the state or the government or whatever, certified or has license or whatever that is real, not just people saying they know. Yeah. Anyway. Let me move on from there. <laughs> it's me who's doing it. Um, let's see. Disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Yeah. You know, these people who do these things that they're not holy. What they're doing, it's so self-centered and it's so, um, it's so harmful to so many people. And these are the same ones who will take those words that I just spoke, you know, and twist it, turn it around and say it. You know, point it at somebody else and say they're the they're the example of not how, of how not to do these bad things when they're the ones who are doing these bad things. You see, they blame the people, the good people, and say they're doing it. I mean, this is so it's it's childish. And what you know, being a bad child. Not all children are child, uh, are like that, but being a bad child 101. And we're talking adults who are child you know, childish. I don't talk about kids. I don't want to, um, what else did I think? I don't want to say anything bad about kids. Kids, not all kids act like that. Anyway, I'm going to move on. Without natural affection, that, that's the one I was talking about that, um, you know, to me it could be that without natural affection. Natural would be, because, I mean, if you go into even sociobiology, natural would be to take care of your own species and in order to do so quite often it would have if not always it would need empathy and then compassion you know, to do to actually do something to help these are people who don't have this natural you know affection natural um, and I would call it an affection for other human beings you know some people I know that they do it they, they read that in you know, other ways this is how it was, at least one way to me I'm not going to say anything about the way they say it. Anyway, truce breakers. You know, people who just aren't going to be... I think that's the one. That they're, they're just not going to be uh, happy about anything. You know, you can apologize to them or you can set up something wherever it's good for everybody. No, they're not satisfied. I'm not, no. You know, yeah. False accusers. We know what that means. Um, although, you know, I'm quite postmodern and... I say it's all text and people see it different ways, different, they read different things into it, so, anyway, but, uh, false accusers, I mean, the people I just mentioned even would be false accusers, they're saying the other people are doing the wrong thing, and they're the, you know, the shining example of how to be holy when they're anything but holy themselves, and they're, they're pointing the finger, they're falsely accusing others, but also that means, like, falsely accusing somebody of committing a crime when they didn't do it 
anything that's falsely accusing people. Okay, this word I'm not going to use because um, it means something else these days. Okay, instead I'll just say um, they, they lack self-control. They lack, you know, um, yeah, they lack, they, they're uncontrolled. They, they can't control themselves in anything. Um, let's see. Fierce. Despisers of those that are good. Yeah, you see, you know, they, these are the type that they they claim they're Christian. They're not. They do things that are not. They, they use that. And not everybody who's Christian does that. Hope I made that clear. But the ones who do this claim they're Christian, yet they are the, some of the worst people. And they're, they're using that Christianity. That's just a sad thing. We all know what that means. Um, they, they claim to be Christian and they're not. But the other ones who are, they'll... You know, bear false witness and anything they can to make the other side look bad. And uh, they despise them. The people who are not, who are using Christianity and are not, they despise the ones who are truly holy. I had that luxury of actually seeing people when I was growing up as a child that were truly holy. And uh, I've not seen it since. Really, I haven't. Okay, also, let's see. Um, Traitors, heady, high-minded. Heady means something different in there. Okay. Uh, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Isn't that hedonistic much? Mm -hmm. And uh, having a form of godliness, but not denying the power thereof from such turn away. And then it goes on, but of course. And uh, I'm going to get out of here. But, um. Uh, Anyway, I was going to read that for the other video. I might have to, if I can remember to put them on both one, you know, both the same channel. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. But, um, I mean, think this was in the Bible long, long ago. Okay, the, and these things that we're seeing, these, to these, we're seeing now, and there's just so many of these kinds of people. And I'm, I'm, I'm really, uh, I go in and out of feeling just, you know, losing my faith in humanity at times, seriously, because when you when I see online, especially, I mean, it, it's nothing new to me in person, so I've seen it since I was young, but when you see it online, okay, where are you going? You missed it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I didn't cut it off in time, but yeah, it was like, what the? <laughs> really? What was wrong with this person? Then she looked at me like I was at fault. No, but th I know that that area can be confusing. Like you're you're in the parking and you got a straight line. You got the arrow you're inside the parking air, you know, parking lot, parking area. And you got the straight line. Well, the other people who are at the front who are going straight across they don't have an arrow showing that they could you know, were supposed to be going on straight but they are but they don't have anything on the road there that tells them well she was on that and I know it's confusing I think she's right beside me but she was she was doing her hands at me and I was doing my hands <laughs> yeah. not not that kind of thing but just saying you're doing the one of what what are you doing she was trying to get in front of me like she sped up to do so. And it didn't work. She would have hit me. Yeah, she would have had the ticket, not me. So anyway. See, I don't like I don't like situations like that, but this this is an example. She really thought it was all about her and for a while there she was going to do something dangerous. You know, and I was already on the roll, you see? And uh I was already moving, and then she was like, speed up, she's going to get in front of me, because of her sense of whatever, that she owns the road maybe or something, or maybe it's just that she didn't know what she was doing, you know, but still, to be that aggressive, yeah, that's kind of, anyway, but these things happen, <laughs> nobody's perfect, so, but I do know who that is. I know it's confused me. Like there's this, uh, there's a mall, and it's very confusing when you go into not that that one is too. I and mean, for some people, I can see how it would be. 
confusing. But there's a, there are two places, other places, that it's really confusing. And I mean, people come off the highway on one of them. The people are, who are coming off the highway, they zip in, but there's a whole, like, like this, like a, it seems like a road that goes around the mall. And when people come in from the, the highway, they're, they're speeding fast. So they could hit somebody who's on that, you know, on that thing so easily. It's like, why do they do that? Why, why would anybody build something like that? Seriously, put, to put that part so close to the, to the highway, and then they'll have bushes, shrubs, and all that trees where you can't see, nobody could see, if somebody's coming off the highway and is turning right there. I'm like, what the crap? <laughs> And this uh, it seems like, I mean, I've lived in many places, many, many places. And uh, this, this seems like something re relatively new, that they do this. That, that I've seen more and more of these kinds of malls where that's the case. I have to wonder about the way some people think, really. Okay, you know when you, whenever you, you want to have a red light and you just can't catch one? <laughs> That was just a situation. Hopefully I didn't delete something that was, uh, I deleted, I wanted to delete one clip because it was a woman with a baby and I don't put other people's children in my videos. And uh, so I looked at it and I couldn't see how many minutes it was. It was just like a second. And uh, hopefully it wasn't longer. You know, it just didn't, hopefully I didn't miss it in other words. But, uh, purposely put, put anybody's kids so hopefully I got that all right and uh, yeah and it was through the whole thing after that but there was a woman and she kind of scared me it was right there on when, where the historic area started and she just stopped I think it was a woman I could have been it could have been a man it was an older um, model car you know and uh, I think I, I thought it was a woman because I you know thought I saw the arm and then the jewelry could be lying could be wrong <laughs> but for some reason I thought it was a woman an older woman and uh, just stopped and that, that that worried me you know and then there were a lot of people behind me and everybody else seemed to be thinking what's going on here you know well, why all of a sudden people are just stopped she just stopped on the road they're extending this road hmm. Or are they just extending the road? Never know. Never know. But it's pretty... It's pretty bad. But yeah, anyway, back to this, you know, of seeing too many people. And we all, we're, we're all human. We all do wrong. You know, we're, nobody's perfect, like I keep saying. Um, but when somebody brags about, like I said in the other video, um, when somebody brags about it and boasts about it that that they are so, you know, they admit to that they're doing things that are rather despicable, but they come up with a good reason for doing so. You know, I'm doing, using their voice kind of thing. If the reason I do it is for this purpose. Like they are that, um, what is it called? It's a hero kind of mentality, but there's a superhero type, not superhero, but a hero. Um, they're gonna come in and save the day. And then everybody, you know, it's a, it's a form of narcissism. Uh, they want to come in and they act so uh, they're doing everything good for the for people and you know, the people should glorify them. Anybody who's looking for to be glorified, to be looked at as an idol, they should worship them. And that, mm, there you go, once again. You're gonna turn. <laughs> yeah, that was that. That's one of those. Also, it's an old place, so maybe it, no, it's not really old. But they have that on the outside. I understand the concept, but can you see the where they put the shrubs? This is not what I was talking about. Uh, I think it's not all that full anyway. But uh, they'll have it close to the road. The road going like this around whatever mall or uh, shopping center, and then people like or who are here turn in collision I, I don't get it can't you put it a little bit in no I know that's right price of property huh you get what I'm saying but 
it's it's not it's not I went out shopping and you know, after this ice storm and all that we had up here in North Central Texas, much of Texas, much of other places too. It was pretty bad and we were stuck inside so many days and today's Sunday and it was Friday. We finally got to go out after it started really started melting and uh, yeah, but I went to the Dollar Tree, you know, wanted to buy a few things and it really wasn't it. Feeling it yet? <laughs> yeah. um, really wasn't feeling, it. but like I said, I've been having some health issues. And, uh, when have I not? That's how it's been feeling lately. It's like when you get to a certain age. And, well, to, for me, I can't say for everybody. I, I was one who people always thought I was much younger than my age, and all of a sudden, I'm 59, and it, it seems like once I turned 59, everything went crack or f fell off or. <laughs> Of course, it didn't fall off or crack, but, you know, everything changed so quickly. It's hard to keep up. You know, that was mine. I know some people, they always look young. You, you just seem to think you're going to push me off the road for some reason. You know, you're kind of scary. <clears throat> but anyway, you know, in, I was, in that first part, I was talking about people like, they want revenge, you know. Like that, that person that got really too close to me, uh, or the one that pulled out. I wasn't going to get revenge, but I was already in motion. <laughs> but I'm like, uh-uh, oh, no. And plus, I didn't know if somebody was right behind me. They wouldn't have been because I was parked. But there could have been some collisions going on there. Other than she needed to stop. But I wasn't going to look for revenge. These are people who would follow them home or... Uh, I actually had somebody who told the whole, not I didn't have somebody, but I had somebody who told us all uh, that she did that. She was a customer service rep. Uh, it was a woman who, we were all new to her on the job, and she had been a customer service rep at some job, and she told us all the story that uh, a customer had called in and smarted off to her. So there she had the customer's name and address and all that kind of stuff up there, the phone number. So she wrote it down and went by and harassed her and scared her and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, I see some people, they, they go way far with it. This, some of the people I've seen lately go far. They, they shouldn't even get to that point. You know, they're, they cannot control. They're uncontrolled. You know, they, they can't control their own behaviors. And they do some of the most despicable things and then they, they brag on them and think that these are all you know the way other people should do and since they don't they're just going to say that they do and then say that they're perfect then they say that the other does it and say that their own selves are I have to put it that way are perfect when they're not and it gets exhausting because it, you know that it's um this is an example of um, cognitive dissonance i never have said that in a video in your video in a way, there are other ways that you can say that. Because um, some would say, well, and I'm going to skip that. Go go look up the definition yourself. <laughs> I will give advice, but you see what I'm saying. But anyway, you know, when things you know should be this way, and you know that that person is, you, you can read, and you read it says this person does this, you stay away from this type, and you look at that person, you listen to the words you say well wait a minute they're doing that yet they're they're saying they're claiming they're the good ones and this is this bible here saying they're the, those are the bad ones you know and it causes such confusion especially when you see other people who are claiming to be christian and seem to be nice people and they're glorifying this person they have them up as an idol or idol work you know as an idol really um and it always just boggles your mind is how can this be? And uh, they they play on it. Some of them would, you know, this is all some. The ones who do, they do. And they'll play on it. They'll use it. Okay, that was not me. I think that person over there didn't know that both of these lanes, or the one behind me is way too close. And uh, has his lights on. Old, old truck. Doesn't know that 
some people, that happens a lot. But I didn't see anybody get into my lane. But I think it's the guy behind me who's too close. Has caused my car to go, nope, 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 you get back. Back, you fool. <laughs> but, not gonna happen, huh? Anyway, but you see what I'm saying? I'm seeing so much of this, and this is nothing new. This, this goes on and on and on. I mean, this is nothing new to me in my, my whole life. Okay, then now this person's going to go around me. Wow, what an idiot. I'm going to the speed limit, by the way. And all this traffic, that person's going to go that fast, really? that expression you know I, I'm not like I said like this kind of thing there are some people who would follow that person and go chasing after them and another example because I see this kind of thing every time I go out seriously every time I go out there's somebody who does something like that that guy had to go around me and other uh, on the other side because he's first that's in his mind he's first okay I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this all up I think I've said enough like I said, I'll probably have to divide it tw twice.